I am uh, Dr. Aditya Nadella. So I am a consultant uh, medical oncologist. So today we'll be discussing about uh, pancreatic cancer. So let me tell you what is pancreatic cancer. First of all, let us know what is cancer. So cancer is nothing but an uncontrolled growth rate of any cell in the body. And what is a pancreas? So pancreas is a gland that resides behind the stomach. So this pancreas is made up of two parts. So one is the exocrine pancreas and one is the endocrine pancreas. So the endocrine pancreas is the part of the pancreas which is responsible for secreting many hormones just like insulin. And what is the other part that is the exocrine pancreas? So this part of the pancreas secretes the digestive juices that are required to digest the food that we take. So any cancer arising in this part of the pancreas is called as pancreatic cancer. The most important risk factor for developing pancreatic cancer is the usage of tobacco in any form, be it a cigarette, be it be a cigar, be it be BD, or it can be good car, kind anything. So the most important risk factor is tobacco consumption. The second most uh, uh, risk factor is alcohol consumption. So these two are the most important risk factors a person can develop pancreatic cancer. So the third one will be occupational hazards. So who are the people who are more vulnerable to this pancreatic cancer are people who work in the metal industries, people who work in uh, uh, dry cleaning industries. So these people are constantly exposed to many chemicals. So these chemicals cause pancreatic cancer. The fourth most important risk factor is any family history. So any person with the family history of pancreatic cancer, especially in two or three relatives who are near, near relatives, like either parents, siblings, or any offspring. So these people are at high risk of pancreatic cancer. Or if the person has any family history of breast cancer or colorectal cancer or stomach cancer, these people are also at high risk for pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer usually presents with gastritis, recurrent and repeated gastritis that does not respond to any medications. When the person is having repeated gastritis, so I advise the patient to undergo an endoscopy and an ultrasound abdomen so that a pancreatic cancer, underlying pancreatic cancer can be detected very early and can be cured. Pancreatic cancer especially uh, is more notorious to say that it usually presents in a very advanced stage without any symptoms. So by the time the patient develops any symptoms, the pancreatic cancer is already at an advanced stage. So what can be the symptoms of this pancreatic cancer? The most important is pain in the abdomen. So it is an abdominal pain. So the abdominal pain will usually be around the umbilicus and it spreads along to, uh, the abdomen into the back. So this is one of the most important symptoms of pancreatic cancer. The other general uh, symptoms of pancreatic cancer can be uh, reduction in weight, which is involuntary. The patient will not have any desire to eat. There is a lot of uh, weight loss and uh, diabetes. So the patients who develop diabetes, so this diabetes can be a risk factor to develop pancreatic cancer or it can be one of the first symptoms of pancreatic cancer. So especially patients with diabetes for more than five years, they usually develop uh, pancreatic cancer. So the diabetes itself can be a first symptom of developing pancreatic cancer. And in the patient has advanced pancreatic cancer, some people can present with jaundice. So why jaundice? Because the pancreatic duct coming from the pancreatic gland, as well as the bile duct coming from the gallbladder, they together meet and form the common bile duct. So in, when the patient is having advanced pancreatic cancer, it causes obstruction to this common bile duct and this obstruction of bile duct will cause jaundice. So these are the main symptoms of pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer actually is staged according to the uh, American classification. So there are various stages of pancreatic cancer. So the stages, as we all know, uh, range from stage one to stage four. So usually pancreatic cancer, if at all it is detected in stage one is curable and the rate of curability reduces as the stage increases. So the person having stage two cancer or stage three cancer and stage four cancer, the rate of curability comes down. So stage one can be cured easily by operating on the patient and completely removing the tumor. So stage two and stage three tumors, we need a combination of treatment modalities. So the treatment modalities can be surgery followed by radiation followed by chemotherapy and stage 4 cancer is very notorious cancer very aggressive cancer and it can never be cured 
So the only option for treatment for stage 4 cancer is either chemotherapy or immunotherapy. Preventing pancreatic cancer is to make lifestyle changes. So as we already discussed, the main risk factors for developing pancreatic cancer are smoking and alcohol consumption. So a person who smokes or drinks regularly so has to stop uh, drinking and smoking as soon as possible so that the risk factor for pancreatic cancer is reduced and becomes normal.